Hi, I'm here today to share my wallet, um, which is actually the Louis Vuitton Agenda in the size MM, which is the medium size. And even though this is a planner meant to be used as an agenda, I actually use it as my wallet. So I just thought I would share that today. Um, like I said, this is the medium size one for reference. This is the largest one, the GM, and this is the MM. So it's, it's a lot smaller. It weighs a lot less like this. I use it as my planner and it pretty much lives at home on my desk because it is heavy, <laughs> but this one is much more portable. Um, in my opinion, there's not a ton of room to write in this. So it's perfect for me for a wallet. Whereas with my agenda, like I like to have a lot of room to write. Um, so I like having the GM for that. But anyway, I just thought I'd share this with you in my um, system for how I use it. So, but first of all, I was gonna tell you a little bit about the history. I got this piece very, very pre-loved. In fact, a little bit pre-hated <laughs> because she had some damage. The fact that it's not showing up that much is great but basically there's this like white smudges on it um my theory is that somebody might have written on it with like white out pen which is so sad i don't know what happened uh, but the person i got it from had gotten it that way and somebody clearly like i don't know if they use like patent center or what but they like really just roughly erased it and then there's still little white marks left. And I'll insert a picture from when I first got it. It actually was um, a lot worse. <laughs> so I'm kind of proud that I've gotten it. I mean, it looks decent. You can see that the monogram print is rubbing off where it's poor baby's just been through a lot. But um, I'm not recommending this. But the way I got it off was actually a Q-tip in nail polish remover. And I just like dabbed at every white dot and then like carefully rubbed on it until it disappeared don't do that at home do not try that that's not an approved way of ever ever touching a louis vuitton product but i was desperate and you know fortunately since she was damaged i got this agenda at a really really amazing price um which is good since obviously it's a wallet and the whole purpose is to get better at budgeting so Anyway, I, I love her. I think she's in great pre-loved condition, even considering the damage. Um, it doesn't, it just doesn't really bother me. My GM, which I need to do a separate video on her. Um, I got this one brand new and it's my baby and it's perfect. But this one, um, I don't know. There's like, to my, in my opinion, Louis Vuitton products only get better with age. I love the way they start to look and feel and they're just perfect. So anyway, without further ado, so this is my wallet. This tassel is from a really cute Etsy shop and she has a channel. Her name is Megan Louise, I think is her channel. Um, but I'll put a link to that if you're interested. And yeah, that's it. So, okay, inside, I'll just give you a little tour. This is my like, front page dashboard thing. Over here, I have two cute little felt clips, um, which I can also link. Those are also from Etsy. Um, this one's just a little credit card and this one is coffee because I like to spend my money on coffee. <laughs> and then I have some tickets to things that are just kind of like fond memories. This is tickets to see Beauty and the Beast at El Capitan Theater. Sorry, I'm like hiding behind my wallet. Um, and these are some fast passes from Disneyland that we didn't use. So I just thought they were kind of fun to keep like little tickets. Then I have my driver's license, um, a discount card for where I live and our two Disney passes here in the front. Um, we do the Dave Ramsey system. So we try to use almost all cash for our expenses. So that's why I don't have like credit cards here. Um, in fact, I like rarely use anything in this, these slots. <laughs> so this is just, um, you know, whatever's cute and makes me happy, basically. This dashboard I made out of a page from the Kate Spade planner. And I just cut it down and laminated it and put a back on it. And then this dollar says, 
Thank you for all the money I've been given throughout my life. I was reading a book called The Magic and it's in the series of books that was originally, the first book was The Secret. Um, and it's really cool. It's just like a 28 days of extreme gratitude practices because uh, gratitude is awesome and it really changes things. And so one of the days is about money and it says to be grateful for all the money you've received. And it just like talks about even as a child, you don't think about, you know, all the meals that were provided for you, all the clothes that were provided for you and just feeling gratitude that you didn't have to come up with that money or, you know, just any, anything that you get free is money that you're getting because it's a value. So anyway, the book just teaches us to like be really grateful for all of that stuff. And, um, you know, what you're grateful for, you get more of. So it's always good to be grateful for money. And I keep that little reminder in there. But anyway, then I have these clear Filofax envelope pages and they're just open at the top. And then on the front, I tape on this little register that I make on my computer. So I have one of these for each of our cash budget categories. Uh, if you're not familiar, Dave Ramsey is a financial guru, but he is all about cash and paying off your debt. And he says to use a cash system where basically you have a physical envelope for each I like item in your budget. Sorry. <laughs> and you only pay cash for those things. And then when you're out of cash, you are out of money. And it's been a really eye-opening way to do our finances because you know you just swipe a card or you just click a button on your computer or you swipe your phone and you don't even think about the money you're spending. You don't feel like it's value. So it's been really, really eye-opening to use the Dave Ramsey method and actually pay with cash. Um, and it's helped us a lot, I'd say. And I'm just like an organizing nerd, so I enjoy it. But I will say it's kind of a tall order, like especially to tell a guy, hey, you need to carry envelopes with your cash in it. Most guys like carry the smallest wallet possible or just have a money clip or something. And at least for my husband, he was like, yeah, no, I'm not going to carry envelopes. So <laughs> it's kind of my responsibility in the relationship to handle it. And this is the best system that I found for doing that. So. Each one of these envelopes corresponds to a budget category. So like, for instance, this is my fun money category, which is one that I can just kind of, you know, spend the money on whatever I want, basically. I already spent it at Target yesterday, so it's empty. Um, then there's like the grocery category, and I just write down the date, where I go, how much I spent, and what the remaining balance is. And then each week I refill the envelope with cash for the coming week or some of the categories are smaller. So I just fill them up once, like at the beginning of the month, it just sort of depends. And then obviously don't judge how much we budget for different things because everybody's different. But like, for instance, my grocery money is all gone already for this week. The only thing that's in here is a coupon that I want to remember to use at the grocery store next time. Um, but then like my restaurant budget, we haven't gone out to eat at all yet this week. So that's still in here. And there's the cash. Um, so yeah, I just have all of my categories. One thing that my husband was asking, and you guys might want to know too, is like, is it a problem having this cash visible? And I definitely try, don't flash this around like I'm doing right now. Like I would not go to the grocery store and be like, hmm, what should I do? I definitely keep it, you know, just like closer to my chest and like pull out the cash I need. This has made me more prepared when I get to the cash register. Like while I'm in line, I'm thinking, okay, what category is this? How much is this probably going to cost? I like discreetly take the cash out of the envelope, pay for it. And then like when I get in my car, I write down, okay, that was target $40 or whatever. So yeah, I don't flash this around or anything, but, um, when people do see it, Honestly, the only comment I've gotten is like, oh my gosh, you're so organized. Like, teach me to be like you. <laughs> it's really funny how much people admire like organization. And I understand because I'm always looking for tips too. But anyway, so I have all my cash budget categories here in the front. Then I have some cards. These are business cards and parking passes for where I live. 
Um, I already went through and covered my private information so I could show you guys this. Then these are like membership discount cards, my VIB Rouge card. Usually when I'm taking this out is when the girl at Sephora is like, holy crap, I love your wallet system. Um, so that's nice. And then I have like Ikea, dry bar, groceries, BevMo. And then here are gift cards that I need to use. That's just like one of those Target $5 coupon ones. Um, and then behind the gift card, I keep a receipt that shows its balance. So I can always remember how much is on it and when I used it last and if there's ever a problem. So I have those three gift cards right now. Then here are my cards. Like I said, we're pretty much cash only, so I try not to use these much. That's why they're kind of buried in the back of my wallet. But, you know, obviously things come up where you need to go to the ATM or whatever. So I do have debit cards and one credit card here. And then this is insurance cards, car insurance and my library card. And then in this, I keep coupons. It's just a little zippered pouch and I also have some stamps in there. And then in here, I keep change. And usually I keep it like flat in my purse so the weight doesn't all fall <laughs> to the bottom. And then back here is where I just throw my receipts. I have a little discount flyer back here. And, um, when I get home, I take the receipts out and like record anything I need to record from that. And then in the pin loop, I have a Kate Spade pencil. I think these are called the bridge pencils. They're really cute. It says so well composed. I don't know why I'm trying to make it focus. Never mind, it probably won't. But this is literally the only thing that will fit in this pin loop. Um, from what I understand, there's like kind of a lot of variation in Louis Vuitton agendas as far as the size of the pin loop. With my GM agenda, like any, almost any pin will fit and it's really convenient. With this one, nothing would fit. And I tried so many different pins and I got a lot of ideas from the really cool Facebook group. Um, sorry, my chair is squeaking. I just realized that that might be noisy for you guys. <laughs> um, Louis Vuitton planner party check them out on Facebook if you're interested in these things. But they had a lot of ideas of what pins might fit and they still didn't fit. So this is the only thing that fits for me, a Kate Spade bridge pencil. But I actually love it. It's actually perfect because when I'm doing a lot of, um, you know, math basically with my little registers that I keep in here, it's just always easier to use a pencil. So that works out well. And let me see, I made a list of little things I wanted to tell you. Oh, okay. So one thing with the budgeting that has really helped me is realizing every month is different. When I used to try to do a budget, I would just, I just wanted it to be cut and dry. Like every single month, my expenses are X amount and that's how much I need to have and whatever. But I finally come to realize like, obviously every single month is different and you have to budget differently. So at the end of every month, I make a specific budget for the next month. Um, and that's been a huge game changer for us. Like you look at and see like whose birthday is next month? How much money do I need to spend on gifts? Um, like, are there any taxes due next month? Is there any like annual fee coming up next month? So that is really, really helpful. And I do change how much goes in these categories every month. Um, and that just helps me to plan ahead and be more prepared. And then another thing is this is what I do with my extra cash. So at the beginning of the month, I just take out all the cash for the month and like, that's it. We don't get any more, ideally. I mean, obviously we're human. We've gone over our budget a fair amount, but we're really working on it. So I get out all the cash and I put it in here. Um, it's just like a little accordion file, but it makes it really simple. I have it by category. And then each week I just quickly go in here, take out the extra cash, put some in my husband's wallet, put it in my categories and um, go through it. So that works out well. And I think that was pretty much everything I wanted to tell you. That's um, the basic rundown at least. I hope this is helpful to somebody. Like, if you're an uh, agenda nerd like myself, it's honestly just fun to have an excuse to take your planner out this much. <laughs> like I, I just love using this as a wallet. I think it's so cool. I don't think it's that 
cumbersome compared to a wallet. Like the wallet I had before was the same size, but maybe like this tall instead of this tall. Um, so it's not a huge difference. I like in my purse, I just throw everything in there and it's not a big deal to have this in there. And then, like I said, I don't flash around how much cash is in here. I don't carry that much cash cause I just put it in by the week, what I need for the week. And, um, yeah, it's really not that inconvenient. And I just try to be quick with it cause I don't want to be like that person in the checkout line. <laughs> it's like taking forever. So yeah, I think that's it. If you have any questions about the system or how I do my wallet, feel free to leave me a comment. I love talking about this stuff and I uh, hope you enjoyed this and maybe it gave you some ideas of your own. I will do a video on my GM agenda next cause I love watching those videos. Like what's in my planner videos are so much fun. And I feel like everybody sets it up differently, which is what's so cool about these. It's like you have the freedom to set it up however you want. I mean, obviously you can make it into a wallet, you can make it into a planner, whatever. So yeah, I love these videos. I will definitely do more. If you'd like to see more, let me know. And I hope you enjoyed. Thanks so much. Bye.